Hi everyone, today's video I'll show you how to do a super easy shell nail design and I'll also do a quick demo of the Luminara pigment over the blue polish since I've had some requests for that. You see that beautiful mirror finish and that gorgeous blue-green color shift. I'm not going to show the purple in this video since I have shown that purple in several others. Um, so the blue is Le Chat Dive In. It's from their Retro Remix collection. And you'll also need a no wipe top coat. My preferred one is Accents, but you can use your favorite. You'll need a clear builder gel for this. I'm using Mosaic Neo Clear. And to apply your gems, I use uh, Gelish uh, foundation, but you can also use, uh, in, in this case, you can use um, Bling On. Uh, there's other thick builder gels that you can use to apply your gems into. I just like the Gelish foundation. I've never had a problem keeping my gems on uh, that way. So uh, you'll also need the Luminara Aurora pigment by Social Claws if you want the mirror nails. And I'm going to go ahead and get gloved up and we'll get started. So on our sample here, I uh, do have two coats cured of the color and one coat of the accents no wipe to apply the pigment into. So we have our Luminara. I have my makeup wedge. If you've seen my previous videos, this is my preferred way to get an initial coating of the pigment onto the nail and uh, it will look grainy at first, but um, We'll, we'll take care of that with our silicone tool here in just a moment. So I get a good even coat with the makeup sponge. And you can see how that shine comes out already. Although it does look a, a bit grainy. But this is where using the silicone tool will make all the difference in the world. So I just pick up a little bit more and what the burnishing does is it makes that pigment lie even flatter. It fills in any gaps and um, really just polishes that to a gorgeous mirror finish. It allows those color shifts to come out more. You can see me there in my, in my reflection there. Hello. See how mirror that is. Now that nail is ready to top coat, make sure that you um, dust off any uh, excess uh, pigment. And one way to get better wear with this uh, is to go around uh, the perimeter with a file and kind of etch the sides a little bit. And then what uh, I've done with my previous manicure and this one in my current manicure is I've used the uh, bond date. Now I know I've shown this before but for those of you who didn't see my previous video the bond aid does two things. It will help keep the top coat from separating once you get it onto the nail because these uh, top coats don't have a sticky layer to stick to. They tend to want to uh, kind of separate and start pulling away from the cuticle and the tips and it'll start to pull away along the arch of the nail. So to prevent that, uh, I used the Bond Aid and I've actually had terrific luck with this. It doesn't uh, haze the finish. You still retain that beautiful mirror finish and you don't have to fight your top coat and have to keep brushing it over and over and over again to make sure you don't have any missed spots. So that's ready to cure, and again, that's for the recommended 30 seconds in an LED. And there's the beautiful finished mirror nail out of the lamp. So now we're ready to do our shell design. And I'm doing this over again two coats of the Le Chat Dive In and one coat of the Accents Top Coat. Um, I'm going to use the Builder Gel with my crystal nails zero long brush 
and um, again this is super easy to do if you've seen my unicorn horn nail this is the exact same application method it's just forming the lines a different way so I pick up a dollop and if you have uh, almond or pointed or stiletto nails I think it's prettier to start with the fatter end near the tip and do the skinnier end towards the cuticle so that's how I'm going to show it here but of course it's however your preference is and how you want your own nails to look and what I like to do to prevent the gel from spreading uh, into each other when I'm doing the like the lines do get pretty close to each other I'm going to flash cure this uh, for you know maybe three or four seconds in the lamp and then come back in and form my other lines and flash cure those and continue on and it really is just that easy to do I'm not going to go all the way down with the design because we are adding the embellishments and there's the design out of the lamp it's cured fully and I've removed the sticky layer from the builder gel and that's all that you need to do the your uh, lines will not come off of your uh, top coat I'm using a uh, SS3 uh, Peridot AB crystal and an SS7 blue crystal for the design here and I'll be applying those into the gelless foundation I have a little bit on my tile here and I'll be placing the gems individually just placing a dot of the gel for each gem that I want to place it into I don't want to end up with chunky layers of, of gel on the nail just where I want the gems is that's the only place I'm going to put them And then with the smaller, those peridot gems will just form a nice graceful little arch there right over the larger gem. And now that's ready to cure. And because the base, base gel does have a sticky layer, I like to come in with some accents and just trace around the edges with the accents when I first started working with gems I would coat the entire gem but uh, as as you know if you've done that yourself you it can distort it distorts the shape it distorts the um, the uh, reflective the it just doesn't make it look good when you do that so that's the reason for just putting the gel around the edges and cure that for the recommended time and you're all done so as you can see it really is just that easy now I didn't apply the luminara over the scalloped nail because uh, I wanted that to stand out from the mirror nails but you can put the luminara over it should you choose to and I've got a few sample here uh, samples here to show you so for this one I did a uh, ombre of a pink, a blue, and a green. I used again some Le Choc colors from the Fairy Collection. I used the green as Pixie Land, the blue is Twinkle Toes, and the uh, pink is Fairy Dust. And again just a simple ombre. And then uh, I applied the uh, lines over that, cured it, removed the sticky layer, topped that with the accents, came in with the pigment, topped that with the accents, and then uh, did the gems there at the bottom. So you have a nice uh, soft pastel uh, looking shell design there. This is another gradient style. In this case I did the pink fairy dust down the center and then I took the blue and uh, just did a gradient uh, with, with uh, the blue on each side of that. I applied the pigment, uh, top coat of the pigment, and then applied the lines just like I did on the um, sample, our first sample nail, and then applied the gems and you're all done. 
Now for this one I used the same three colors but I did it the uh, same as I did similar to my tie-dye uh, look that I did in my previous video. Just some random areas across the nail. Uh, applied the pigment, the top coat, did the lines, and then uh, I actually applied another layer of top coat over that to make it look like the lines blended a little bit more. And then I used my bling on because I wanted more of a 3D effect with those gems um, to create a little bit of more a little bit more height. So you can see you've got lots of options with this. If you found the video helpful, go ahead and like and uh, subscribe. And I do appreciate everyone's support. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down at the bottom. And of course, I'll leave links to where you can purchase everything down below. And until next time, I will see you guys later.